Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Here it is New Year's Eve and I got some more presents from China. They all come in these type of bags and basically I thought I'd just share them with you because um, some of them are pretty cool and they didn't cost me much at all. So there's that bag, we'll put that aside. First one I'll talk about uh, but I'll do a video on is these jigglers. Stainless steel jigglers, probably about 10 or 12 in each one. Two pairs of them, different. Those two set me back about 20 bucks, so I'll do a test on them later on. I also got a little piece of um, this little piece of metal that's going to be used for a key reader later on, so that cost me another five bucks. This is what I thought we'd look at today. This James Bond keycard, and this cost me a total of six dollars and two cents delivered, and it's even marked James Bond and in the shape of a Visa card. It comes with two other tension tools, which clearly don't fit in the pack so if you are going to keep this in your wallet you might have to keep these in your pocket too if not you might not be able to use it never seen one of these never you know kind of used one but I thought look for six bucks it's worth checking out to see what it is and see what it can do so that's why I got one all right now just looking over it size wise on this bad boy 55 mil 87 mil about four mil okay so will this save you in the moment of need is this going to be able to you know get you back into your house if you lock yourself out or is it good or it really is it even worth having in your wallet that is the question now there's always been a little bit of talk about these saying that you know from what i've spoken with other locksmiths they say middle of the night you don't really want to be fishing around with half a pick trying to get back in it's just you know too difficult but um can be done but you know whether or not it's practical is another reason now i'm having a little struggle just getting this to slide out so this, the actual design of this is not brilliant. It's not going to slide apart anytime soon. Okay, so there we go. We've had a little bit of movement in there. So let's have a look at what we have here. Okay, so let's just chuck that aside there. We have one tension tool. We have one pick there. So we have four rakes. Four rakes, one tension tool. And let's just have a look at the configuration here. So we have the little J, the standard one little one little one then we have just the diamond on the end and then we have like a bit of a key shape so yeah they're not too bad I mean there's my uh, HPC one and as you can see they're, they're the same there the feel and the quality of them let's just give this a little quick look here zero that off thickness 0.64 of a mil a real one 0.52 that's interesting tension tool 0.70 okay so the question is, will these actually work? So I have a little little disc cylinder here, generally quite easy to pick. I'm just going to put it in my hand there and see if I can use, I like this one the best, see if I can use this one. I've even got a little window on the side here I can do a little bit of cheating on, just to, just to get me up, oh, there we go. So I was able to, to pick that, not so bad. Okay, here's another one now, just a cheap deadbolt. I'm going to be using this tool here. I don't really like how thin they are here. I don't, don't think they're going to last that long. Yeah, and I'm just giving it a bit of a rake. See if I can get lucky with it. I mean, I do have every chance of getting this open, but oh, I thought I actually got it then. It was just the tension tool kind of slipping. I might try the uh, tip of the tip of the plug style on this one I don't normally but my tools are so small that I'm not getting a lot of good feel and everything's moving everywhere now, it's a bit of a disadvantage here's my lucky one okay that seems reasonable so will this pick this cylinder could be because of the length of the tool so just to just to check this let me put a normal size tension tool in there and give it another go a lot more feel because I'm a lot more used to this other tool here we go so that's it that's raked uh, using the 
HPC one. Let's give it another go now and see if we can improve our time using a better tension tool. Okay, and that's picked as well. So what were we missing in the first equation? Interesting. Maybe I just wasn't getting lucky, maybe I just wasn't getting the feel. was a really high pin there that I'd identified uh, before, so that gives me a little bit of a cheat now. Well, I know I can do it. See, I don't really like the way these, this little part is. It's just not giving me a lot. I'm really struggling because I don't have a lot of grip on it. The tension tool too is very, very sloppy. I'm not enjoying it. But it is somewhat working. Okay, didn't get it. Right, I could go on for hours and hours, I'm not going to do that. We did get this tension tool as well, which does definitely doesn't fit into the pack. Let's just have a look and see how that fits into the cylinder. Yeah, that fits in quite well. That might improve, improve our chances, but once again, that's an extra piece you just can't carry in the kit. So it's a little bit, um, a little bit frustrating to carry around an extra tension tool to make it all work. Okay, so now, now it's picked. So tension tool does make a difference. They've got this big wire one here too. I'm not really a fan of these. Some people do like them. They get the real feel for them. I personally like the rigid ones. These ones here are a bit springy for my liking, but it probably will still work. So it was a $6 investment. And, you know, if you've ever been locked out and you've been, there we go, picked. If you've ever been locked out and kept without your tools, it's extremely frustrating for a locksmith to be somewhere locked out and you don't have tools, especially if you get up against just a uh, KS1 or a C4 5 pin, you know you can pick it in a heartbeat, well not a heartbeat, but you know you can pick it no matter which and every way. These tools are not great, but look for six dollars, six bucks, you know, you could keep it in your wallet, keep it under the seat of your car, you could keep it somewhere that might get you out of trouble once or twice or one day, and if it works for that, well then that might might be better than the frustration of not having any tools whatsoever. If you had to open a simple screen door cylinder like this and you had nothing, that could be somewhat frustrating. But at least with uh, these tools here, you, you can have a bit of a chance. I mean, being sold for six dollars on eBay, I think there's a lot of hobby that goes into this. Like, you, you probably find a lot of people who buy them, muck around with them, and if they're not getting perfect results, it wouldn't be such a, a big deal. But as a professional, I don't really think that anybody would turn up to a job and start using these. I think these are more or less, if I was on a desert island and I had to, I would use type of scenario. Because I'm just trying to do a simple wafer lock now, and the tension tool is a nightmare to get a good grip on. I'm probably even blocking one of my first discs, and I'm really not getting a lot of action happening here. I'm probably not far away from it, but it's not great. And if it was on the door, I'd have more of a chance. So anyway, my review on this little thing, was it worth the six bucks? Oh look, yes, yes, especially if you've got the time. If you've got the time and you want to muck around in the middle of the night, half drunk, trying to get into your unit and using one, that's cool. And if it's less embarrassing than calling somebody else who has the tools, another friend or something like that, and you're a locksmith and you're locked out, then yeah, that's fine. I mean, I've locked myself out many a times. Certain stages I had, well, one, one particular unit I lived at, I had no tools whatsoever. I went to do the washing, I came back, and I'd locked myself out. The lock was on storing function, always locked from the outside. I got so frustrated with the lock that literally I, uh, you know, bent the front knob, left, right, left, right, ripped the knob off, um, and then uh, basically was able to find um, a little, I'm not sure what I found, but I was able to find something to go straight into the lock and manipulate it open using no tools but my bare hands type, type scenario. But if I had it had this, then I definitely would have used it. But yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a gimmick. It's a bit of fun. It's got James Bond name there. I don't think James Bond would want to use this. It'd take too long. But it does work. It can work. Quality's low, but that's kind of what you get for six bucks. Leave your opinions down below. Do you have one? Have you used one? Did you get one as a gift? Ever been caught out with one? Any stories like that, it's always good to hear. And um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.